Fala galera, beleza? Sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo. E no vídeo de hoje é os highlights, são os melhores momentos das partidas profissionais de CS. Caso você curte esse quadro aqui no canal, não se esquece, se inscreve aqui no canal, sua inscrição é muito importante para a evolução do mesmo aqui na plataforma. Seu like mostra para o YouTube que você curte demais esse estilo de conteúdo, fechou? Deixa de enrolação e vamos para o que importa, são os melhores momentos. Bora lá! And with that, bombsite compromised completely. Smokes are up. And what do you do now? Bomb planted. You have to regroup as a team. Try to retake this bombsite. But there's no kit in MRBR's hands. The time is definitely against them here. I have to just try their very best. Get their bodies out there. Put them on the line. And post plant setup from Young Sharks is so good. To try and find an opening here. Great molly to deny a potential defuse. Perfectly timed. And there's just no way. Yeah, time continuing to tick. They do get a good chunk of kills. Dog, the only one still standing. MIBR are poised to snowball. They've got the AWP online as well. So they're going to try to lock this down. Already, Safi with the opening kill. The follow up is good. Oh, that was beautiful. The counter flash into the site. Completely being patient. There we go. That's the first, and oh, his teammate might not even have to help out. That, I mean, they do seem to be achieving that, but look, the stack is moving in towards mid. Exit could be overrun here. He's good for the first, and his teammate backs him up, and it's... Oh my goodness, that was with almost no utility left on board. And they're just getting torn apart. Oh no, just one by one, they keep falling, at least that is one kill back. But Insane, he just secures it. Adds another one to the list of deaths. Oh, what are you doing now? No, you'll just have to try and swing, bear aim. Quem aí não curte jogar aquele CS com os amigos, né? Mas chega de jogar sem skins, vem pro CS GoFest, o site que mais te ajuda a ter sua primeira skin. Entrando pelo link na descrição, você está 100% seguro. Além de resgatar os 10% de bônus com o cupom Aleart, ganha uma caixa de graça e pega sua primeira skin para o seu inventário. Abraça essa oportunidade agora mesmo e não vacila. Lurking around Speedway here. Just waiting for the smokes to disappear. Oh, but... Oh, at least, okay. They do get a, a double over here, which could open things up to... How do MIBR mount this retake? Flash will come through... No, it was a smoke. Straight across the table, and it keeps going back and forth. 1v1 duel! <gasps> but no, it is Doc that wins it out! Deep mid control. Something they have been lacking a couple rounds ago. Oh, but this is an outrage. Your orb is being taken out. But I guess both orbs get taken out. Immediate trades once again. But now MRBR seems to be a tad bit stronger. Two player advantage now as it is just time. Chances of uh, Sharks being able to bring this one back. So low. Oh, not quite the timing. Just a tap it too late, so that means that Chops can plant the bomb here. Of course, 13 HP, but it's not impossible. It might be I had no idea for the longest time. On the smoke there, but still alive. Not too much damage taken. Oh, look at this. It might be all. Gotta go in and investigate a bit. The back of that flashbang. Completely blind. More members fall on the side of the young sharks. They try to bounce back. But now it's just the offer left. Does have the bomb in his hands. We'll go for the plant. This is not easy to hold your ground right now. With an orb, you have to get very close and personal. You have no idea how many or where they're going to be coming from. And yeah, the hopes for a no scope, but it's not. Great. So immediately, one young sharks drop a bunch of you till there is counter. But you would expect that flesh would have been perfect. Only problem being that it blinded them as well. Drop up ahead, and oh no! People fall like flies on the side of MIBR. Now, bomb being planted, a two on four retake. What do you do? Because there's still so much util left on the side of the sharks. And as a player to be in every corner, even a wraparound slowly to come as well for mid. Yeah, 
this is just so incredibly tough. Young Sharks make it five. Slowly inch close. Made the difference. Now, this is uh, a strat I don't usually get to see on uh, on Ancient. They are going to go with a full on train right through middle and wrap around through CT to overwhelm the Sharks. And thus far, it seems to be working pretty damn good. I mean, Doc lost one left alive. Good for one. Can make a second one out of it. Can make a meal out of this. I don't think that's to be the case. You investing a little bit of util in here just to try and confirm this kill. Make sure that uh, no resistance can be found. For Doc, I mean, there's really not much to be done here. Investment into the decoys. Have to uh, have to respect it. Well, that, that uh, there are certainly a bunch of extra kills, maybe even more. But oh, okay. Well, <laughs> exit. But it could be devastating. Full on rush, but it's been shut down. And with that, very crucial weapons and utility lost in the process. And even more damage dealt. But this is a very nice setup. So talks at least. Will give you the numbers advantage. They have to be perfect here. DRG's got a great angle, but surely they clear him. Oh, there we go. Follow up kill has been found. Still a two on two. Drop three persisting in towards long. Maybe make a bit of commotion, but drop perhaps the first player to be found. And that means troubles up in paradise. Gaffalo with a scout. Rotating player already into CT, sure. But. MRBR have a lot of space. Now, they don't necessarily have to bomb up on the side just yet. And this is a bit tricky. A player so far pushed does get one kill, but gets traded. And now, this side might still get compromised because the smokes and the mollies are not going to keep up for that much longer. And now the CTs are here. Yeah, the potential lurk activation could be phenomenal, though. Ooh, H-E kill. Love that. A site relatively open, but Doc is still standing. Not for much longer. And the last line of defense here is Togs, and here's that lurk that I was waiting for. Bam. Easy round for MIBR. Yeah, in this case, not quite working out. Oh well, we're back to our mid-battles. This time, though... It is uh, one by MRBR continuing to put the pressure upon the map, but as soon as mid has been taken... Could be a hit or a miss. One, two, swing. One, two, swing! And the AWP is offline. Footsteps certainly are heard here by Doc, but there's so many faces. You gotta, you just gotta hate that for them. Fogs is gonna do a little bit of damage here. Takes away one of the guns, but that's all he's gonna be good for. Denies entry for the time being here for MIBR, and that was a beautiful counter flash. Insaney, completely blind, but plan still sticks around. MIBR commit to this B bomb side. Thus far, so good. But the defense is sort of trying to corner them towards the main entrance of B. Continue to tag up the defense, and now things are starting to look a bit dire. Play it down, go full of low, and stuck behind smokes. They both mid that round, Velas, and unfortunately, it cost them dearly. Last player left alive, and Safi will deal with it quick sharp. 13 to 8 in our first best of one. Fala galera, desculpa atrapalhar o vídeo de vocês, mas eu tenho um recado muito importante. Agora o canal Aleartes junto com a Faceit são parceiros. E eles nos deram a oportunidade de criar um clã do canal aqui para vocês. E o mais importante aqui do clã, que além de você jogar aqui dentro do clã, você pode vir aqui na tabela de classificação, você vai ver aqui as premiações. Tem premiação de top 1 até o top 20, você pode ganhar pontos ou também ganhar skin para quem ficar em primeiro e segundo lugar. Fechou? Essa é a primeira season aqui. Lembrando que esses pontos aqui você pode trocar por itens da Faceit e também também por skins. Então, você só tem a ganhar. Fechou? Te convido aqui, link tá na descrição, participa do nosso clã e dá essa força lá pro canal. Tamo junto e continua com o vídeo. Nós. Nice. Nothing committed just yet, although it looks like now Bomb is going to start making its way over towards the A site. And I like this from MIBR, make a little bit of noise across both pl uh, places and see where you decide to pop. But now they're going to go for brackets and unfortunately, Sani's going to lose his life. 
Ooh. They continue to stand tall here on short. A bit of panic. Talks will take on the fight instead. And now there's a lot of heads you need to be clicking in a very short amount of time. Not quite possible. So with that, bomb planted. Smokes are up. And there's a lot of delay for those two remaining players for the Sharks. Going to wrap around here. Where are all those MWR players sitting? We have one very sneakily up in apps. Two tucked into the site. Now there is still a flash. Pretty good one, but doesn't really seem to matter at all. The kills start to fly. Try to play off of, but again, it's going to be another brackets pop. Oh, players spotted out and follow is going to be forced off of this angle. Oh, the high low fails massively. And MIBR just crack open this site with the help of exit. That was nasty. Okay, if this is the right call to make, default a little bit. Bait, I mean, so much of that util has already been chucked down. Back a follow with the driest peak of his life. Easy opening kill oh. there. Follow up as well. And now, this is usually the part in the round where they're not shy to continue to take space. So to really lock their opponents into a bit of a corner. So far, so good. MRBR only with two players left. Very limited amount of util to even try and get upon a site if you even want to go for it in the first place. Now, there is plenty of money, so maybe the goal here is to just try and make it costly for the Sharks. Head over towards B site are slim to zero. He's got two players trained in on his position, one of which is the AWP. Holy smokes, how does he win that? <laughs> Not gonna live for too much longer to tell the tale, but. Kufala looking to have a repeat performance there, but flashed immediately off of the angle. He's gonna have to fall back, and his teammate dies for his sins. to maybe re-aggress into short but does decide to back off there's a very cheeky angle spots the head but instead drop is just a tad bit quicker even though a bit of baiting happening amongst the orb Guffalo still hits one but there is so much force to be reckoned with if I have this like if my maths is mathsing <laughs> that should put them in contention to come back in season 48 just off the back of these two rounds. Or these two best of ones. Oh, what a brilliant opening. Flash wasn't even necessary just yet, and whoa, they just continue. MRBR is on fire. What we were saying, assert that dominance. They're even investing a little bit of util on the hunt. But it could <laughs> cost them dearly. Gafalo misses the shot. He's forced away. And the hunt will continue. Getting costly. Will. And everyone is in position already. Looking away for the flash. And now these MP9s perhaps could do the work. Or perhaps the deagle as well. That's one kill. But the AKs are just a tad bit stronger. But one versus two, not impossible, especially Dog having a rifle on his back. Only problem being is perhaps no kit. So time will be of the essence now. It's smoked off angle. Oh, but that's a bit awkward. A tiny bit of a gap in the smoke will become the end of Safi. Now drop. Here's all those footsteps. Knows exactly where Doc is sitting. But this bomb plan a bit awkward, but he fakes. Will be forced out. What is that banana aggression? Bro just full sent it and then died. <laughs> yeah, not quite what you would like to see. Especially not from Insane, who typically is the one to go insane. Not quite on this particular map yet, but the rest of the team surely will. And oh, just continues to add kill after kill. It just feels yeah. like they have no read on MIBR. Oh, this is a, a cool play, though. So last round, we've seen players wanting to get EPS control denied by Molotovs. So I guess second mid aggro will have to be it instead, as well as the follow-up from mid. 
But the thing is, to keep the numbers even, the trades are always there, and perhaps the punishment as well. I mean, we have seen young sharks open up with very aggressive entries. MMBR is definitely, you know, keeping an eye out on this aggression. So, they're catching them like flies once more. Oh, I would have liked to have seen Doc get a little bit more done there, but... Just chilling around the corner here. And they have a nice crossfire set up. Oh, who's the player spotted? There's a good couple of traits here, actually. Sure, a couple of players tagged. But now you have a player advantage, and that's a very nice kill to lock it in. But one versus three. What more can be done? Can MIBR do the unthinkable? Get to ten. And just bully young sharks. This is not the round that I thought that they were gonna. No! Oh, they line up. They want to double swing. And oh, don't push. No, don't peek. Oh, well. Don't peek. Oh, long range MP9. That's so much time being wasted if the lineup is right, even with a smoke present. Oh, but it's not. Not quite. There we go. There is the headshot we were looking for. And a 1v3. This is fairly interesting. So they managed to get the kill over towards Banana, but there's zero Banana control. Only now. They're going to be reinvesting into it. We'll be flashing. Trades go one for one. Now the flash is here. Also, a counter flash. A very awkward situation right now upon this site. They will be taken out. They take a bit of an orb. It's not easy, especially now not. That one being the last one standing takes a... A nasty hit from the nade, but position now revealed. Time continues to tick, and Guffalo is not the one with the kid. That's an 11 to 1 half. A very dominant scoreline, and find out after the break if it very well could be. Oh, that's a, that's a lovely flash into the side. Only problem being, Sappy's still here. Good with one kill already, and now the rest of the defense can slowly come into full effect. I do love this position with the Guffalo, and thus far works well. So that is the rotation taken care of for the time being. Player advantage secured, as well as that bomb plant. <laughs> Positions are quite telegraphed here. Yeah. MIBR, no kit in hand, but they just want to keep this as close as possible. Taps the bomb. No peek. Come on. Oh, nice shot from Gaffalo. Should be fairly well telegraphed that it's going to be this banana push here. The rotations haven't come through yet, so they might be trying to opt for the retake. Who needs a retake? Don't let them get on site. Three versus two, Villas. It's all gone so wrong. It has. Now, there's not any weapons being picked up in the process apart from that SMG, which, no. Was invested in two. Mm -hmm. So players have to wrap around. There's no kids. So time is the only thing not quite working in favor of MIBR here. Slowly trying to grind. There's a very nice trade out of try and swing together, and they do so. They make it work. Oh, they had absolutely no right to do that. Their hold yeah. on this site was nasty. And this is what I was uh, saying a little bit earlier. For a contact play through apartments. One player already revealed their ass. The smoke dissipates. And now they will try and swarm the pit. And they will get a couple of trades out. Making things very difficult. Running out of bullets as well. Who knows what more that the young sharks can do. But this is so scary. They go for the bomb plant. But look at the player's HP. 2 and 13. Oh. A snappy shot. One to come oh. through from Gafalo. He's doing so much. He's brought it down to no. an even. Gilda! No ways! The reload! And he takes full advantage! Oh no, kid on board here. So again, MIBR are relying on this round being incredibly close. I don't think it will be. Oh, well. Maybe, maybe there is a bit of wiggle room. Especially now with Insanity and Exit, what is happening? Not this MIBR. round. MIBR. 
not this round, Velas. They continue to pause up. They don't care. Pick up an M4 and a Peros as Exit is tagged up, and now you're stuck into crossfire. Nowhere where you can escape into an FBR with a 10 round difference. Finally finishing that. Well, I say finally. Well, they should have just done yeah. a good round earlier. I mean, honestly, to win it or on a bike. E aí, gostou dos melhores momentos de hoje? Não se esquece, as estatísticas estão aqui para você analisar. Pausa o vídeo caso você queira ver e acompanhar tudo certinho. Sua inscrição e seu like aqui embaixo é muito importante para a evolução do canal. Te vejo no próximo vídeo. Fui.